Hi friends, in a quickie session of Fatafat Chutney, today I am going to share a pickle. Lot of our viewers and friends and relatives are requesting to show chicken pickle, mutton pickle, shrimp, all non-vegetarian pickle. So today I thought of sharing chicken pickle. This pickle my mom-in-law makes regularly and I learnt it from her and it's very very nice and yummy. Chewy chewy chicken pickle and this you can store it for at least one month also whenever you want to make it dear friends no need to ask your mom-in-law or your parents you can make it instantly the way i am showing it to you to make the chicken pickle we need boneless chicken so here i have the boneless chicken you need to cut this into small small pieces like this here is the chicken pieces what you need to do is wash it nicely and remove all the water and take a cloth and put your chicken into this cloth and whatever moisture is there you need to remove you need not marinate the chicken just the fresh chicken you can get it and wash it and if you want you can put it in a cloth and put in fridge so that whatever moisture is there this will absorb and this is ready just put it back onto a plate and this is nice and dry so friends here you can see this is nice and dry and we need to deep fry this chicken so for deep frying here is the oil don't worry take too much oil no problem the same oil we are going to put it in our pickle oil is nice and hot we are going to put our chicken and we are going to deep fry till we get a nice golden color so friends what you can do is if you want you can add very little of salt to your chicken not too much very little you can mix it and then you can deep fry or otherwise just the chicken also you can deep fry so i am doing half of without salt and half with salt mix this salt and this also we are going to deep fry so friends here you can see our chicken has got nice golden color you need to fry like this put it in a bowl once you make your pickle dear friends this will become nice chewy chewy chicken the rest of chicken and this also we are going to fry till golden color so friends here is the chicken which i added little bit salt you know if you want your chicken to be little bit salt then you can add in the raw chicken some salt and mix it so this is ready and in the same actually kadai you can use for tempering but what i'm going to do is just transfer this kadai i'm going to use the same oil for tempering always for pickles you need to add extra oil so don't worry we will anyway have one or two pieces so no problem so this is ready in this hot oil we are going to add ginger garlic paste if you are taking half a kg of chicken then you can add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and let this cook we want the raw flavor to go so friends here you can see the ginger garlic paste has cooked now we are going to add all the ingredients some turmeric you know turmeric you all know how much we add just little and now coconut powder you can add one cup of coconut powder if you are taking half a kg of chicken and in this all the masalas coriander powder garam masala powder today i am going to show you two ways dear friends one is curry method and one is pickle method switch off the flame and in this we are going to add chili powder you can check the spiciness and you can increase the chili powder no problem and we did not add it salt so we are going to add salt dear friends always be careful add salt less if required then you can increase the salt otherwise your chicken will be salty salty you can use the regular salt also i use the crystal salt mix this and this is our masala for our chicken and now we are going to add the chicken pieces if you want lot of pickle gravy then you can add more of coconut powder the coconut powder which i added is the dry coconut powder and mix this mind you i switched off the flame only i cooked the ginger garlic paste and i switched off the flame all you can add in the hot oil and now where is the sourness for our pickle for sourness we need to add lime juice and even you can add vinegar so here i have some vinegar i am going to add 1 tablespoon of vinegar and 1 tablespoon of lemon juice mix this 
if you want mustard seeds you can add the mustard seeds in the tempering while sorting your you know ginger garlic paste you can add mustard seeds and cumin seeds and this is ready just check the taste and then you can add the salt mm, this is nice I think I can add salt always check and then add the salt dear friends this won't absorb by the chicken the salt won't absorb by the chicken so always be careful don't add too much salt otherwise your chicken and your gravy will be salty and our pickle is ready if you want more of oil also you can increase the oil but this is perfect now you can just put this in a glass bowl and you can rest this for two days and then you can have it you can add some oil friends this is very less because we added coconut powder so whatever the oil was there it is absorbed by the coconut powder so whatever the oil which is there which we fried you can use the same oil and see put this in a jar and let it sit for at least two to three days and then you can have this excellent chicken pickle so listen i have showed you how to make curry type pickle with chicken now we are going to learn how to make the regular pickle how we make our mango pickle the same way using chili powder and mustard powder so here i have the fried chicken which i kept it little bit first we are going to add some turmeric here you need not add any oil first just add all the masalas first turmeric and then chili powder you can add two tablespoon three tablespoon depending upon how much spicy you want to have your pickle based on that you can add the chili powder and i am adding one tablespoon because very less of quantity so i'm adding one tablespoon of chili powder in this pinch of methi powder and mustard powder if you're taking one tablespoon of chili powder then you need to add half a tablespoon of mustard powder so here is the mustard powder and also we're going to add salt first little then if we need then we can add mix this and also in this vinegar for mango pickle you have the sourness from the mango but such type of pickles we need to use lemon juice or vinegar so i'm using some vinegar and some lemon juice here i have the lemon juice mix this even dear friends for sourness you can add as per your taste you can increase the lemon juice and you can decrease the lemon juice if you want more of sour then you can add more of lemon juice and now this is ready we are going to add the oil so here is the oil which we fried it this is not hot this is warm so i'm going to add this always pickles you all know oil will be floating on top mix this and taste it and cover this with a lid and let it sit for two to three days then you can have this pickle and for good results if you want your pickle to stay for longer time i suggest put it in fridge then whenever you want to have it remove from the fridge serve it and again put it back in the fridge that way you can enjoy your pickles long time so this i'm going to taste it and i'm going to store it just taste little bit mm wow nice sar sar exact amount of salt i added and the chili powder also this is perfect i can just cover this with a lid and i'm going to rest this for at least 2 to 3 days and dear friends if you want you can have one piece of chicken no problem because chicken is nicely deep fried you can have this chicken see and this will be chewy chewy outside nice and crispy inside it will be chewy 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 one piece you can enjoy at least for 15 minutes dear friends this will be excellent pickle i hope you enjoyed this simple two types of pickle making if you love it make it the way i showed you you will get it excellent see you in another session with some more recipes